Hello there, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes, back on good old Satisfactory for another day. Yes, back on here, and uh, going to be continuing right along with our modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager, so you can download and install mods for yourself. Yes. So, um, if you may remember last time, we had built all this piping work and all this uh, railing and stuff like that and all this um, going um, with this uh, so we can pump our oil. Uh, yeah, I just, I just remembered to fix these. <laughs> Almost forgot until now. Actually, I well, did forget until now. But yes, we had uh, did that as well. We merged these two grids. We got all this, all these oil pumps and whatnot. And they're all, everything's all hooked up. I'm still sick, uh, unfortunately, um, and whatnot. So, you know, still have to deal with that, which uh, I apologize for. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do about it, other than just get better. Stop being sick, noob. <laughs> <laughs> and uh what's not okay so uh we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and drop another save here uh, i know we just started there we go um and the reason being is because i gotta cut down more stuff so i don't want a giant rock to disappear We had to cut that down so we can uh, finish building our well house here. Yep, I have learned my lesson <laughs> from this game. Uh, inside this area, if you don't want to screw up the scenery too bad, don't use the chainsaw in a whole lot of areas. Be very, very careful with it. Um, just because if you're not, yeah end up screwing up the, the scenery by having like floating grass and stuff like sometimes these little uh, bits right here that I'm standing on sometimes these will disappear when you chainsaw stuff Ooh, ooh just turned red ooh, fancy oh look at that galaxy there you go um, squirrel it uh, it sometimes disappears and it's really really annoying so uh, and we want to try and avoid that if we can. Um, so, you know, there's that. Perfect. Uh, we need to put our railing and stuff in here. So we just want this, and then we want uh, this. It's just so we can access the uh, so we can access the pump itself and whatnot. <laughs> there, perfect. I'll we'll put a little this little ramp thing, a little bit of railing, so you can go down there. Perfect. Um, I know these are all boxes right now, but there really isn't a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> I don't, I'm not that creatively gifted right now. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, all the pipes are all hooked up and stuff. We just need to get electricity to each one of these. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I might have to remove this wall. Ooh, careful with that. do it this way. Uh huh. I'm trying to decide on what kind of ceilings we're gonna need for these. 
Um, do we want like flat ceilings or? roofs or whatever like maybe one meter roof as long as it covers it up I really don't care I like this this uh, roof here it's a really nice looking roof unless it doesn't protrude too much Oh, they must be up there. Yeah, they're not here. Must be up there. Eh. I don't know about that. Maybe two meter? Two meter might be better. Two meter might be better. Uh, and whatnot, so. We could do flat. Like this. That is also a possibility. Why is one taller than the other? What the hell? I want them to line up. Yeah, there you go. Maybe we'll pretend that's like a little hatch. There's a little hatch there. I will go with flat roof. You stop that. <laughs> Eh, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking two meter. That's what I'm thinking. Oh wait, do, you, do these ones, these ones burn off gas, don't they? Oh yeah, they do. I remember that. Yeah, they do need to be flat. Oops, I just got rid of the last one. Yeah. There's a reason they need to be flat. It's because when this is powered, this burns off uh, gas, like right here, I think it is. Yeah, it burns off, or, or it burns off like flames and such. That's basically what I mean by that. So if we put, like, these, we'll just put flat roofs on it. On each one of these. Or it could go like this. I suppose. Have the top of it sticking out. And we'll do like a two meter. Yeah, we'll do like a two meter roof bit. Oop. I don't say it like. Yeah, just a little two meter roof bit. And we'll have like the top. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. And we'll have like the top of it sticking out. Yeah. I like that. Now, walls. Have to do it two meters. These. Oops. Just so it's walled in.
Yeah. Then we're going to change the material here to these. Uh, we're going to need more of these. I think I have some more, to be honest. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Once we have a design, then we'll go with it. I'm going to leave the bottom of this concrete so that it has like a concrete base. Because these are metal panelings, um, and you do not want metal panelings get wet on the bottom. They can rot out. I've seen many buildings do it. And it's just, it's not fun to deal with. I'm not talking in the game by, either, by the way. I'm talking <laughs> in real life. In real life, they do have um, a problem. They do have a problem with, uh, with what you call it, what you call it, um, rotting at the bottom. People will put the panels all the way down, right? Uh, instead of leaving like a little concrete uh, gap where the base is or where the walls are or whatever that are made out of concrete. And what will happen is water will get trapped between the concrete and, and the uh, metal outer paneling and it'll it'll rot the bottom of it. And then it'll be like all nice paneling until you get down to the bottom like inch or two right near right next to the ground and it'll just be all rotted after a little, uh, short amount of time. It's not a fun experience <laughs> to have. Oh, should we do like yellow? Like cautionary, cautionary yellow. Yeah, I like that. Nice and simple, not overly complicated or anything. Got a few, few little bits on it. Of course, black would also suit this, too. We uh, swap these two. Save preset. Oh, whoops. I remove it. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That will save this preset. Then I could just uh, quickly select it. Okay. Swap the color. Eh, you know, that's not that, that's much better. Honestly, it's not as loud. Um, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, it's a little wellhouse. Very simple. Very simple design doesn't take too much materials or too much thought into it and I like that it's sticking out the side or out the back I like that it's sticking out the roof like that that's pretty cool I like it I think that's what we're gonna do with all of them Drag that into the mud there. As well. That one as well. I have to paint the front of these. Okay. And then color. I wish you could paint the paneled ones, uh, these type of paneled ones. Like, I'd, I'd like to be able to color that. Um, I really do like this this type of siding. I think it's very industrial. Very nice. I guess I could have grabbed it from up here. That's fine, though. Go to the top. Okay, 
perfect. Very nice. Because they spew out like fire and stuff, so we definitely want to avoid that if we can. Um, like, uh, avoid it coming out where we don't want it. Perfect. I like it. Did we ever paint these? Or this one? We did. Okay, perfect. I like it. Nice. And it's all inside of its own little house. And stuff like that, which is really nice. Okay, now we just gotta do the big one. And then... That'll be it. Uh, that for decoration, at least for now. Um... And whatnot, so. Okay. Let's go around and do, do, do. On all these. I think we'll do the, uh, the big one, the big storage house as well. Like this. It's a pretty nice design. Very simple. It doesn't need to be complicated or anything, so... You know, it doesn't need to be complicated. Uh, these ones... Hmm. Yeah, we don't need these. We can, uh can get rid of those because I can replace that with this and it'll be fine. Yep. It's like that. Paint it. I'm wondering if I still need the middle of these. I do. Okay. Mm. That's a problem right there. That's a real problem. Just wondering how I can solve that, because if I put these here, put a metal one instead, I can't paint it. Eh, we'll just go with metal. I think metal's fine. This one. Paint it black. Oh, whoops. Uh, material. Right here. Very nice. Just finish placing our beams. Oops. We'll put a roof on it. A little bit of leg. A little bit of leg. other beam there. Put that beam there. I think we got one more to place. This one's going to be a little bit harder. We might have to... Oof. It's going to be hard to, uh, to get it placed. I have to do it from the inside. Uh, maybe not. No, we got it. Nice. I'm gonna split this up a little bit because it's got a little, it, the wall's a little too long. Uh, 
Oh, we can go right in the middle. Let's go with that. Yeah, I like that spot better. Right in the middle of the wall. It's one and a half. It's right here. Yeah, that, I mean, this wall's still a bit much, but I think it's better. It's better like that. Okay, cool. Everything's kind of set the way we want it now. And actually, this one... No, this one's fine. Okay, no, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, let's go to the top. I'll hop on one of these. Up we go. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm trying to think. How do I wanna do the roof on this? Uh, I think I have an idea. Go this way with it instead. Will that work on the back here? It will, but it won't look as good. We could act like we merged two together. Oh no, we're gonna have to go like this. Okay, yeah. If we go the other way, it's not gonna work. Um, because it's a little bit bigger. that it looks like it's overlapped I think that's pretty cool which is the way that should it should do anyway that corner piece is going to be a problem I think well maybe not maybe not this is gonna be a problem though That's going to be a problem. We almost need like a peak. That's what I'm saying. I, if it if it comes to a center one piece, there should be we should have roofing bits that are uh, pitched in the center instead of having these. Um, I think that'd be just so much better. Uh, I think it was under walls. It was uh, one of these. I don't think this is gonna work, fortunately. Oh, it's uh, too tall. Yeah, way too tall for that. How do we do that? Just do a concrete corner. Concrete foundation. I guess. It'll be a two meter. Like, unfortunately. Have to do this material. Oh, uh. I guess that. Yeah, that'd be the best uh, that would fit there. Unfortunately. I think we'll have it like that, and then we'll have like a wall bit. I 
guess that's also a mistake too, huh? Yeah, that ain't gonna work. That'd be the best. Either that or we get rid of this and we just go like this. Actually thinking about doing that too. Let's do it like this. We just have a little bit of a, a taller wall on this side. drop off here would probably be more suited. match up. <laughs> uh oh. So is it like is it like this? Oh, it's gotta be like no. Oh, that one's like meter here two meter there two meter there and then upside down two meter right there change the material there we go now that this one's going to be the interesting one Just might work. All we gotta do is just uh, uh, readjust the sides. So it goes here. save my egg. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Let me up. <laughs> it wasn't letting me up. It does look a little bit funky with the with the two meter wall here, but oh you know what I can fix that actually. Watch this, there's a little trick. I mean, yeah, it, it looks better. <laughs> it does look better. We'll just say that. It looks better. Okay, perfect. Now we just got one more wall to, to put in. Which is this side. Uh, Should have committed. It's fine, though. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do this. up 
upside down. Now it looks good with concrete. Um, I just wish it lined up with the uh, with the steel wall bits. It's fine though. Oh, that looks cool actually. <laughs> I like it. All right, cool. So that's the outer design of that building done too. Very nice. I like it. Should look good from the inside too. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks like a proper factory in here. I like it. All right, cool. That's that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Uh, we just gotta get up on the roof one more time. We're gonna do a bit of a ladder. Uh, not there. Somewhere where you can actually get up on the roof. Because now we got to put power up on top of these things. So the power is going to be coming along with uh, poles uh, as well. So I need a power pole. We'll do Mark twos. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Um, okay. So yeah, we're going to have to pull power here. And then... It's like there should be a, a way we can get it almost kind of in between. Uh, not really. go off slightly to one side. Yeah, that'll work. Gotta keep our power poles nice and dry. Sounds dirty, but that's the way it is. <laughs> I don't know if that does not. Nice and wet? I don't know. Alright, so now I'm gonna have a Mark II little outlet right there to connect it down to there now we're gonna go back this way oh <laughs> nice <laughs> um, I want to put this up on the up on the roof will it let me no huh can I get one of those up on the roof here? Ooh, I know. Do this here. Uh. Well, that one's still got a, that piece there. <laughs> Forgot all about that. No, but I do have an idea, though. Okay. If I can put a beam right here. Actually, you know what? Let's just put a power pole here. Why don't, why don't I just do that? I was going to put a beam and a little connector on it. I was just like, you know what? You just put a freaking power pole down. And that'll allow these two to connect. Yeah, I want to tie it to one of those. I wonder if I can move this. Let's see. If I can get a beam. Uh, like a beam right here. go this I 
let's see. Tethers it down a little bit. All right, cool. Yeah, and it's not too intrusive or anything. Very nice. Okay. Now those two are connected to power, or they're not connected to power, but they're connected to the station. So now we just got to do that with all the others in a similar fashion. So yeah, we're going to tie this to the building just like this one as well. Um, I don't know about that. I'll just put a power pole down. Not the corner. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with this. This pulls it, uh, pulls the wire away from the flame too. It's like, yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this. a ladder up on the roof power or two okay and then back to architecture it'll be There we go. <laughs> A little bit of an auto save lag there. Part two double wall outlet. I just gotta figure out how we're gonna do the rest of this. <laughs> well, we got everything connected. So 
I think we should go up much higher. Or at least higher, I should say. We should probably go up higher. Like maybe three. Oof. Hold on. No, we're good. We're good. I was just thinking about something else, but yeah, no, we're good. Um, three. So I want one, two, three space. Let's paint that. And then one, two, three space. Space, two, three, space, one, two, three, pretty much. Yeah, that's a nice set of supports. Uh, I'm going to leave those painted. Architecture, uh, three. four tempted to go higher with this seven or no sorry a nine okay so that put halfway up that which is fine I think seven again okay be very careful with what we're deleting here leave one space open for right now so we can walk back and forth and then a nine okay Should have more rods up here. Uh, at least I hope. If not, we're going to be in some trouble. <laughs> but uh, we should have had a bunch of rods stored inside of our train here. Can we go in between? We can. Alright, uh, nope, not there. Okay, we do have a bunch more rods. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, I was trying to time that. It's like, am I gonna, am I gonna catch it or no? <laughs> Curious then on this next one. Uh, 
Perfect. Very nice. Arrows are a little bit off for these. <laughs> just a little bit. One more set of supports. I just like going high above the ground uh, to start out with. separate out and we're going to go into here there's going to be one pipe two pipe three pipe and four pipe covering in or coming in from these squares now getting the pipe to do that is going to be a little bit interesting but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out and then we're going to have pumps mixed in here too and it's going to look like it's all supported and it's going to look nice at least I hope anyway <laughs> uh, perfect Let's get our pipe over here. So above our pipe is going to be our walkway. Um, just like the well house uh, that's pumping our water. Yes. I'll make sure they're all kind of get place going the same direction. I mean, it, it shouldn't matter, but sometimes it does. I remember the no deletion challenge messing with these freaking pipes, and uh, because there is one thing you can do, and you can do that accidentally. And once you've done that, you can't delete it, you're screwed. <laughs> so I took extra care to make sure that didn't happen. Now everything's placed just like it should. Things level straight. Nice. Now this one's going to have um, another big roof put on it, just like the other one. Um, so walls, two meter. gonna build up the wall here okay looks like that Oop, that auto save lag Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, let's get rid of the pipes for now. They're in, they're in me way. Okay. Yeah, this looked much better uh, with the metal. Uh, so if we change materials now, well, that's the foundation. Oops. Oh, we're out of steel. Let's go grab some more steel. Quick. I like the music uh, they did on these tapes. Pretty good. 
Not all the tapes are good, though. <laughs> I gotta say. A uh, few of them are kind of meh, in my opinion. But uh, I know Sancti Sanctum 1 is kind of okay. Uh, Sanctum 2 is really good. This is the one we're listening to now. Um, please tell me I have more steel bars. Give me the inventory. No, shit. <laughs> we do not. Uh, I'm going to have to go all the way back to base for that. Okay, um, that'll be have to be later then. Um, yeah, we're so close to the end of the episode anyway. I'll just go ahead and finish. Um, well, we'll put the pipes up later uh, and whatnot. So we can go ahead and put the other wall on and maybe we can get the roof on and stuff like that. So, ah! Yeah, let's get that roof on, at least. At the very least, anyway. Uh, that'd be under architecture. Oh, we can't, we need steel beams, so I can't even get the roof on. Okay, that's fine. And we can't change the roofing material, I don't think. Uh, oh no, you can, okay. So yeah, let's, let's get the roof on real quick, um, at least. We'll get the tar roof. Oh, wipes. <laughs> oh, wipes. Wipes. Two meter. Yeah, we'll get the roof on and then we'll change the material later. I like that it overlaps itself. That's a uh, pretty nice, pretty nice touch. Between episodes, I'll go and, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> whatchamacallit, I'll go and, uh, get some more steel beams between episodes. We got plenty of them over there, I'm sure. We haven't been over to the base in a while, anyway. Alright, and then the upside down ones. Upside down ones. Okay, perfect. Alright, at least the walls are done. And the, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, we might put a solid wall up above here. Um, within this section. Um, so I can put a door there. Because uh, the walkway is gonna go above it, it went, along with the power lines, so. Um, and whatnot, and then it'll be a, uh, it'll be a staircase, I'm gonna have a staircase, um, maybe it latched onto the sides of this or something, I don't know, we'll see, but, uh, that'll be next time, that'll be next episode, um, and that's going to be it for this one, so, um, do hope you enjoyed our little building here. Had a little bit of fun, a little bit of decoration and whatnot got done, and we had some more piping done and all that, so. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory, so I do hope you enjoyed, uh, again, I've already said that, but uh, again, I do hope you enjoyed, I really do. Um, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye.